Most people don't know what we are and what we do because it's just a little bit confusing. Dentistry, medicine, maxillofacial, some people even can't pronounce it, you know. So oral maxillary surgery for me is not work. It's what I love to do. So every time I wake up to go to work, I love it. But most people, um, they know who we are when they come to our office. And they, when they need our help, um, they never forget us. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about a post-cancer mandibular reconstructive surgery. So this case is very interesting to me because the patient uh, was being followed up by a general dentist for about four months. Uh, they saw a lesion on his tongue and the tongue lesion was not getting better over the next two, three months. And finally the patient was referred to me. When I saw the patient, the lesion was rubbery and it was a tumor-like lesion. And I immediately, immediately know that it was uh, cancer-like, maybe squamous cell carcinoma most likely. So I biopsied the patient immediately, and within 72 hours we had a biopsy results back, which confirmed my diagnosis of squamous cell carcinoma. The patient then uh, was referred to our ENT colleague. They did the resection of the mandible and the tongue and radical neck dissection and reconstruction of the mandible with a fibula graft. This is a CT scan of his face. You can see the defect is huge, no teeth attached to it anymore. This bone is actually from his leg, it's not a mandibular bone. This is a recon plate as, that helped the bone to heal uh, and, uh, and now we are a year later. It is important to note at this point the patient has a severe asymmetry of his face and jaw and cannot chew or bite on the right side of his face and the left side of the mandible has no teeth. So it's, uh, this situation is making his life extremely difficult and even though he's cancer free, he still has a lot of anxiety and depression and cannot move on with his life the way he wants to. At this point, we decided to do a virtual surgical planning to plan the case ahead of time before the surgery, which is amazing because it's basically doing the surgery on a computer model and then we repeat the surgery intraoperatively exactly the way we planned it. So it makes the surgery go a lot smoother, uh, fewer risks and complications. At the same time, we can move faster so we can get the patient in and out quickly out of the operating room. Uh, what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go over the virtual surgical planning, but I'd like to say that we are able to resect the mandible here about a centimeter and a half. We do a partial plate resection, which I prefer because then I don't have to go extra orally uh, to make a big incision again and remove the entire recon bar. I like to do everything intraorally without any scarring, uh, faster recovery time, uh, a removing portion of the plate and resection of the bone and then we're going to bring the jaw back in where it's supposed to be and replate it again and on top of that we're going to actually reconstruct this bone with our bone graft using a time mesh technique so the time mesh is uh, already pre-made by engineers uh, we actually prevent it pre-made it we're going to we're going to be able to use it at the same time the bone we're going to put in there is a combination of patient's bone cortical cancellous bone and also bmp which is a product that induces his existing bone to grow. We can also do a hybrid case, which is like, we're gonna be able to place some more implants on the other side. Uh, for instance, this is what I'm talking about. We can just take, extract his teeth because they're not in the greatest shape. Uh, place few implants here, few implants there, and do a bridge, which is in the form of a hybrid fixed teeth, stable teeth or hybrid teeth. Uh, that extends from one molar to the other side. So he basically will be restored back to where he was before the cancer surgery. Okay. And that is my plan for him. Uh, thank you so much for watching us and uh, we look forward to the next video. Take care.